A surge in voter registrations could mean that a record number of British expatriates will take part in next week's UK general election. Some 40,000 expats have registered to vote since the election was called, adding to the nearly 300,000 already on the register. Dr Michaela Benson from Goldsmith College in London is a sociologist, sociologist who's studied the potential impact of Brexit on the expatriate community and I'm joined now by her. Thank you very much for your time this morning. What's behind this surge in registrations for particularly this election? I think there are a couple of things. I think the first is, of course, that this is the election that's been branded as the Brexit election. And we know that a lot of British citizens who live in the EU um, were particularly concerned at finding that they've been disenfranchised uh, in the run up to uh, the referendum. And of course, the referendum has quite considerable impacts on their ability to continue their lives as before. I think there's another issue as well, which is that the introduction of online registration has meant that it's much easier for British citizens who live abroad to register to vote. So I think those two things taken together um, could explain why we've seen this apparent surge in the number of British citizens living abroad registering to vote. So if more abroad have registered to vote, what actual impact, how large is that community? What impact could they actually have on election results? Um, so if, if the entirety of the British citizen population who lived in the EU, which is estimated to be about 1.2 million British citizens, um, were able to register to vote, which of course they're not because after 15 years people become disenfranchised, but let's say that they could all vote that would mean that that was, the was bigger than any constituency in the UK. So, so, so large enough to make an impact. Yeah. Sorry. In previous elections, there's been a few administrative issues when it comes to postal votes. Has there been any word of that this time round? Definitely. Um, as a response to what's ha what happened in both 2017 and in the um, referendum, British citizens have been encouraging one another to register to vote via proxy rather than by postal vote. So I think that's really, really significant that they've mobilised around the fact that the postal vote was proving so problematic um, and decided instead to encourage one another to vote via proxy.